Good morning. It is Thursday of the fourth week of Easter, and today I want to focus on St. Paul. He's one of my great heroes and inspires me to be a, a missionary disciple. Imagine this. So Paul and his companion set sail. They arrive in Antioch, and they go to a synagogue. Now, we don't know if, if they've met Paul or not, but interestingly, in the synagogue, Paul, they say, my brothers, if one of you has a word of exaltation for the people, please speak. Now, if I didn't know somebody, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have anybody preach in my church unless it was a, a priest or deacon that I knew and uh, would know that they wouldn't be saying something, you know, out of line to the people in church. But they allowed Paul to speak, and he shared, really, salvation history. And what's interesting here is you and I are part of this salvation history, this, this story of God, um, the theodrama, as Bishop Barron calls it, uh, continues on, and we're a part of it. So he, he shares the story that the Israelites would know. They, they talk about the, Egypt, uh, the story in Egypt and the Exodus and the 40 years in the desert, and uh, then, you know, God conquering nations in order to bring them into the promised land. And then they, they got in the promised land and were there 450 years. And then God provided judges up to Samuel. Then they asked for a king and God didn't want to give him a king, but they, you know, they begged for a king. And so he said, okay, here's a king. And he gave them Saul. And then, of course, uh, we know that next he, he uh, anointed David as king. Now this the Jews knew. But then uh, Paul, who was a very faithful Pharisee, very well-educated, then he says, from this man's descendants, talking about David, according to his promise, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. What? <laughs> you know, they had been, you know, waiting for the Messiah, but imagine what it was like if he was there. That's why I love the, the Chosen series. You know, I remember when they had the multiplication of the fifth fish and Jesus calls uh, Peter and Andrew, and then he calls James and John. You know, James and John are like, well, what about mom? Should we go back? And their father's like, we've been waiting for this our whole life. Don't worry about this. Go and follow that guy. Do we have that kind of excitement and zeal? And he says, John heralded his coming. So John the Baptist, all he did, not all he did, but everything that he did, pointed to Jesus. That's what we're called to do with our lives. That Paul, as, as brilliant as he was, as zealous as he was, he didn't do this. Everything was about pointing to Jesus. John the Baptist pointed us to Jesus. And who does Jesus point to? God the Father. You know, he says, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. So as Paul preaches Jesus, if you receive Paul, you're receiving Jesus. And if you receive Jesus, you're receiving the Father. We see this line from God the Father to Jesus through the Holy Spirit, through all of these missionaries in the world. And so you and I are missionaries of the Holy Trinity. Does our life reflect the love, the mercy, um, the joy of being a follower of Christ? You and I might be the only link that some people have to God. I know that's a great responsibility, but think of the opportunity. You know that somebody might know Christ, somebody might have eternal life because of something you did or said, that your words, your example, your joy, your peace drew people to Christ. St. Paul is responsible for thousands of souls, and we're called through our baptism to be that missionary, that image of Christ to the world. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your Son, Jesus. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Help us to abide in that Trinitarian love and that we may be sent forth by you as your missionaries, that people may come to know you through us, that we may speak your name in good times and in bad when it's when it's convenient and not convenient and that we may gather together and strengthen one another in community to know that we're not alone on this journey 
We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow.